Well, I was inspired by an article where uh, another lady had done 100 paintings in 100 days, and she had certain guidelines regarding her, her series. She restricted herself to a certain size. Every single piece was the same size, and she restricted herself to one particular subject matter or scene. And the point of the project was to get down to work and do something every single day. So the big thing is I'm a mom and I thought, you know, oh, she also restricted herself to 30 minutes a day. So I thought, you know, that is doable. Even though I'm a mom, because everybody's like, oh, you don't have any time. Um, I thought I could do something in 30 minutes every day. So I set out to do it. I did start out with seven days a week. And then I was so far into it, and I decided I better determine my end date, which originally ended up being January 2nd. And I decided that was a terrible end date because um, um, it, it, the holidays were coming, and um, winter was coming, which was the big cold and flu season. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to do it in five days a week instead of the seven days a week. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. I met Charlie because I came to him with a frame, framing project and he started asking me about my work and then somehow he's like, somehow it came up, I said, oh, I'm working on 100 pieces in 100 days and he's like, oh, we're going to have a show. And so um, that's how I ended up here. Yeah, I was instantly intrigued by the concept of, of what she was doing and while it sounds you know, after the fact, like it's an exercise that many artists have taken taken upon themselves. I had never heard of it, and I as well have two small children the same age as Lisa's, and know that there isn't a lot of free time. And so, for her to take the take the uh, the initiative to try the exercise and make it happen was mind blowing to me. And, and when she told me the size she was working in, I, you know, I thought, what a great what a great show to host. Um, you know, as for my gallery, um, have an opening. We'll hang all the pieces in order. Um, let people see the, the progression of one through one hundred and, and what changed. Um, at that point, I didn't really wasn't really familiar with what she was doing. Uh, she later brought in some of the pieces, and I saw how she was progressing and and the different uses of colors and papers and techniques and you know. You, you talk about it with people and they're like, well, how, how can you do a hundred different things when you're painting the same scene? But if you look around the show, there's no two pieces that are the same and the, the variation of, of styles and colors and compositions, I, I think Lisa did an excellent job accomplishing exactly what she did, which, you know, was the, the discipline to, to keep herself painting every day, uh, the discipline to, to keep um, restrictions on what she was paying, time restrictions, and and still allowing herself to, to work outside of the box, even though there was a lot of boxes, she was still able to accomplish quite the variety in her pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, we hosted the opening on April 9th and 10th uh, after sending a press release. It was obvious that the concept was very exciting to a lot of people. We, we received wonderful press um, coverage in, in the newspapers and, and local magazines and, and the, the TV, in which, you know, on top of our own marketing, we, we had just an amazing turnout at the opening. And I really couldn't even tell you how many people came through, but it was more than my little shop had ever seen in one night. So it um, <laughs> left us exhausted by the end of the night, but between the Friday and Saturday we opened, we said sold a good number of pieces and it was obvious that, that the show was already a success. Mm -hmm. So it's been really exciting for, for both Lisa and myself for different reasons. 